Hello, hello, <laughs> hello. Yeah, so welcome everyone who is watching this right now. I hope you do. How was your day? How was your week? How was your month? How was your? How are you? Okay. Uh, um, first, I'm gonna ask this. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Let's hope you're staying safe. And I hope you are doing okay. I myself, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good week, pretty good month. Spent some time studying, spent some time sharpening skills. Um, yeah, I didn't have much ideas about this week's video, for this week's video. And I thought, let's just talk. Let's catch up. Let's... I don't know. Discuss some random thoughts in me head. Uh, while you see my gesture drawing x slash exercise session from this week. Um, no, past week. I think it was Tuesday when I did this one hour session. And yeah, it's not like live session um i i don't have any place here to do the live mm, digital drawings um so this is from line of action dot com and yeah it's really good site for you to practice your gestures practice your anatomy not only like bodies but heads environments animals i think they have hands as well don't not don't remember yeah pretty much it's a one hour session or classroom thing type of thing uh starting with 30 seconds then one second then what imagine one second one minute um five minute uh 10 minute and 25 minute uh, gesture drawings um yeah as I said, I have no idea what I wanted to talk. I had no idea for like somewhat interesting and entertaining video for this week, just like for the last week. I just wanted to share what I did as an exercise, something you can do as well. And to be honest, it's fun, a lot of fun to do those learning some stuff to like using negative spaces paying more attention and uh, something i realized uh, was actually that doing a lot of gesture drawings help a lot with finding your own style um for the like the shapes and how you present the body um, poses i realized that after listening to some pros I think Eliza was talking about that. She says she said something like um, when she was uh, asked about how she found her style. I think she said something like uh, it was not. It was like by chance after doing a lot of gesture drawings, especially like one minute gesture drawings, because you don't think to me you don't even have time to think much when you're drawing doing one minute gesture drawings and you learn to simplify a lot with just shapes you enjoy yourself and like so that's gradually evolves into having a style and that kind of inspired me to do a lot more gesture drawings uh, that day i did two sessions so two hours it's not much but it's something and I think you know I don't think I want to do more um, there's like this 400 gesture challenge I think it's something I know there's like two, 250 gesture drawing challenge I think there's like 400 as well but even if it's if if even if there is nothing like that um, do just making it all up myself and just Doing 400 gestures won't be too bad, 
it won't be, it won't even be bad it will help be help a lot so i was thinking about doing that um for like next week maybe i think 400 gestures in in a week i think that's possible I, uh, how many did i do here like 30 seconds were 10 plus 5 that's 15 plus those three and one that's 19 so 19 gestures in the classroom in hour so like spending three hours that's close to like 60 and times seven that's 350 gestures in one week hmm maybe uh, one day can be done like four hours and the thing about this is that you don't have to spend like with three hours in one go you can do one hour in the morning one hour in the evening or like in midday and one hour in the evening and you get like three hours just divided for a whole day and that's kind of smarter than going three hours non-stop and i think i'm gonna do that i really want to uh, like nail down the shape language for the gestures and poses i kind of found some ways to do legs and hands maybe but still have to figure out how to do a like whole body so yeah 400 gestures would you join me <clears throat> i mean you're always welcome to join um maybe don't do for her and actually i don't want to do like only line of action class sessions i kind of want to study other gestures as well like whenever i do gesture drawings or like do poses i always have um visual of visuals of those artists i really like uh how they do i think i just messed up the leg here i think Think. I don't remember the reference and I cannot show the reference because you know YouTube and might have to blur it out so it doesn't really make sense to show the blurred one yeah hmm now thinking about that the idea of doing some kind of one week challenge for like gestures it's kind of interesting but then I have to start it like a couple days earlier. So I'm recording this on Sunday. So if I start doing some gestures on Monday, um, hmm, interesting. So if I do it on Monday, then I have like two extra days to edit out and just make the video ready. Hmm. You know what? More I think about that, better I think that that idea is. So maybe yes. I should talk more about what I did here than just randomly blubber. I basically just um, did the 25 minute gesture drawing. Uh, you see those lines come from the head and I use that to get the proportions right. Uh, use some landmarks um some negative spaces like aligning some stuff uh to um make it more proportional right at least close to what the reference was and also doing my own thing i really the reference had really good backlight coming in the air. and also i must say that the photo was really old but yeah that's this was one hour first one hour session i do have another one i don't know if i should include it maybe maybe some other time i do like the five minutes from five minute poses from that attempt more but yeah anyways some random thoughts some random uh, talks um this week 
next week. As I said, I think I'm going to do the Jesuit drawings for sake of finding some artistic style. <laughs> But yeah, thanks everyone who was watching this and like listening to me for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry in advance. But yeah, I hope you're having good time, good week, month, year. Um, hope you're staying safe and I'll talk with you all next time.